featured on Kanye West album. We kind of glanced over the conversation for a second, and he's on a song called Carnival. I believe it's Rich the Kid, Playboy Cardi, and of course Kanye and Ty Dolla Sign. Yeah, I wouldn't know he was on it. So real. So the crazy thing is, Elliot Wilson tweeted out and said, "Rich the Kid is the luckiest nigga in the world." He is. And then Rich the Kid tweeted him back, like, "What you mean? I'm lucky. Like, I actually, nigga, I pre- I'm the one who create these songs." So what make me lucky? And the reason why I know this is why I say I don't, and this is why I, even when some when I feel like we give people too much credit because they played in the game. Because let's say Elliot Wilson has been in hip hop for twenty some plus years, doing his hip hop journalist, all the his his history and his resume as long as his goddamn train smoke. But again, it's just it's still is 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 narrow minded and is censored because it's like you would never even tweet nothing like that about Rich the Kid if you actually knew your Migos homework. If you knew but, about but, the Migos, but, but, you would have never sit here and no, tweeted but, that. But, but my only thing I feel like, just even with Rich, I just feel like if you don't have a song established for yourself. He got one. What, 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 no what? Freezer. You got to play that for me, then. Nigga, that's, that's nigga, he, had, he had Kendrick Lamar on it, and that's why I get and I understand if you don't really understand Rich the Kid's capability no, of I making know, hits, I understand I him, where you sit I, here and say. I feel like him on other, because I don't, that's what, that's what I'm saying. What is his stand up? Cause even like when you told me about the whole party, both you know, of them, plug walk and verse, no freezer. But I know everybody know from no freezer. As soon as you hit a beat, you gonna know it. Hey, what you would consider him a one hit one? You, you that, that, that. no, you would consider him a one hit wonder if you don't, if you're not familiar with what the Migos. Can, no, no, fuck his body of work. The Migos body of work, nigga. He was oh, the you fourth. Member. He, influ- he influenced a lot of that. Uh, nigga, when Offset was in jail, the Migos when the Migos first got hot, nigga, he was the everybody thought he was the fourth member of the Migos. Oh, okay. All, if you go, if you, again, that's why I say, I don't, that's why it's hard for me to respect just because even when y'all talk about Joe, yeah, just because you were in the New York scene, but if your palette ain't realistically a real hip hop palette, if you just sit here and miss the whole entire live mix, Nick, live mixtape error, I can't really just respect your opinion because you don't know shit. And that was my point of, hold on real quick before you say anything. And that's my point when Joe got mad at, at Cass and that and them for not knowing um, a Killer Mike musical, don't know who Killer Mike is, dog. Cass and that is 22 years old from fucking New York City. Why would he know who the old ass Atlanta nigga but, is? If, hold on, time out. If somebody who is, if Joe age he is the age group of he you supposed to know gucci man catalog nigga you was putting out music when gucci man was on fire so for you not to know gucci catalog it's no way in hell you can get me mad at a 22 year old kid for not knowing killer mike catalog but no but but then that's my thing i just feel like even with us in society and like when we even go 90 just to go back to the whole grammy situation i just feel like we the way we go about our music it's just like once it's not in your bias or not in your in your area it's like all right we need another one because like remember when we had the hip-hop we had the BET awards then we went to the source then we got the excess you know what i'm saying like we have all these we keep making all these other awards and other what's that because oh you don't pay you don't pay homage to the south oh you don't pay homage to this type of music you don't pay homage to that we keep creating more what's name because everybody don't pay homage to just you know what I'm saying? The whole uh, demographic. And that's why I say, I, I get what you saying. We use this like, all right, your pile is not open, but okay. All right. You, like you said, always time you hate New York by it. Cause everybody in New York, they just so biased about their opinion. Only thing they hear is up North. Mm-hmm. They don't worry about the down South. So even with him, his music might not, you know, con- it might not move up North, but it, down south yes everybody knows so him. so listen to what i'm saying though so and so and which is all is cool but then if that's your if that is your if you're if you don't allow your pilot to go outside of wherever area you from then you can't give you can't sit here and say you're a hip-hop uh whatever the word is they be like i'm a hip-hop uh, arsenal or whatever that word is they be using when they sit here and try to make it like they know all this outrageous stuff about hip-hop and that's for even for elliot wilson to more hip-hop journalists if you call yourself a journalist you should have never tweeted that out about rich the kid because you should have done your homework again like i said i give everybody a project if you sit here i don't know if you you get on youtube and you could put in uh the lobby runners mixtape and that was rich the kid young thug peewee long way like all that's my whole point like you can't if you the call sit here and say rich the kid is the luckiest nigga in the world means you absolutely just did never really get into early young thug early peewee long way early migos because all of them used to do joint projects and joint songs together young Rich the Kid has proven himself 90 times going we just talked we talked about this a couple but, weeks ago Rich the Kid had a whole album with Lil Wayne but but is that not still right. lucky though because no, it's, because it's, obviously no, you, you ain't keeping in all these rooms by being by luck. Ain't no luck in you no, in all no, these no, rooms, no. though. But, but okay, but that's just like with, with Jamal Crawford. Yes, you might not if you don't pay attention to my body work, you don't see what I actually put in work and what I actually do. So if I'm just assist, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm if I keep putting on like you put me on this hook or you put me on this and I make it hot. 